Hi friends, I am back with my another tutorial which is regarding distributing of plugin to XRM toolbox. So I hope like you have liked my previous videos wherein I have covered the information about the XRM toolbox, how to develop a plugin in XRM toolbox and how to debug the same. Once these activities are completed, definitely we would like to contribute our plugin to the community and for that we need to go through the way of XRM toolbox NuGet packages. So XRM toolbox is an open source platform wherein an individual can directly contribute their custom developments and for this they have set a standard pattern in which an individual need to upload the DLL of their plugin to the NuGet and from there they pull in your code to their website. And once the code has been validated, everything has been done, then they will list it on their website and an individual can download your plugin from there. And for the same, we need to download the NuGet Explorer. You can Google it over the internet and you will get the DLL that needs to be installed. And there are certain things which are mandatory for the XRM toolbox to have your plugin listed in there. So while creating the NuGet package of your plugin, you need to mention the ID the version, the title, the author, owner and this information. At the same time, your folder of your DLL should be inside the plugins folder. That is a standard for listing out your plugin over the XRM toolbox. Once the same has been done, you need to log in to your NuGet package website, wherein there would be two categories, the published packages and unlisted packages. So. So in the tutorial, in the web, during the PPT, I have shown you the ways in which it has to be done. Once this has been done, simply we need to save it, save this file, save it as a NuGet package. Once this has been done, we need to log in to the NuGet.org website. We need to upload it and you need to select your local file. So whatever would could be your local file, let's say my desktop, let's say this particular file. And I need to click on the upload button since my package is already been part of it. So it uh, compared that solution compare version 5.0 already exist and cannot be modified. So let's go to my library view profile. So we have solution comparer in here. Now, once this has been uploaded in here, what we need to do is we need to copy this particular part, need to log into the XRM toolbox website need to log into the XRM toolbox website with your credentials or with your login ID and just simply need to copy and paste your NuGet ID over here. So once that is done, then in a day or two, the code gets validated by the developers of the XRM toolbox and you would be receiving an email over your registered email ID with any of the changes which they are expecting in your code. If the code and everything meet up the expectation, then you would be receiving a congratulations mail when wherein they would be listing this tool in the XRM toolbox and then it can be downloaded through the library which I have shown in my exam in my video too to all the viewers. Thanks for all your patience. Thanks and have a great day ahead. In my upcoming videos, I would be trying so as to cover how to develop a, a real-time plugin in XRM toolbox. Thanks.